Hi Fire Signs. Happy New Year. Welcome to my channel. This is Mary with Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you for stopping by. I'm here to do your reading for January 1st through the 15th, 2019. We're going to look into the areas here with the Oracle. I have the Sacred World Oracle by Chris Walder. We'll pull one card for Career Finance, one card for Social Family, and one card for Love. And then we'll clarify each card with some tarot. This is the Jonathan D. Tarot. Again, thank you for stopping by. If you like how I read, please like, share, subscribe, comment if any of it resonates. And even if it doesn't, that's okay. If you comment, please be polite. That's all I ask. Um, hit the bell for notifications so you'll be notified when I post a new video. So you won't miss any of that. I do offer personal readings. All my if information is below in the description box with links if you're interested in that. Um, okay, so we're going to get started here with the Sacred World Oracle here. I hope everybody had a safe new year. hope everybody had a good time. I hope everybody's fully recovered. Spending time with friends and family. Again, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you to my new subscribers who have subscribed. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, so we're going to pull one card here for the fire signs of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for the beginning of January 1st through the 15th, 2019 in the area of career and finance spirit, please. And we have one card for the fire signs for career and finance. I think that one. Is that one card? Yes. Okay, let me put the camera down so we can see the cards better. So you got snake, number five, that's number 10, snake. So I'm going to read a little bit of that from the book, number 10, that is, um, an earth element, worldliness, duality, and desire. When the snake card appears, look for areas where you need to pay attention to the dualities of creation and destruction of temptation and desire. The snake is also associated with creation stories. Um, let's see. Look for areas where you need to pay attention to the dualities of creation and destruction of temptation and desire. So, when I think of snake though, you know, I think of somebody being kind of uh, sneaky, like a sneaky snake. I don't know, that just came to my mind. <laughs> it's a really weird, my wow, spirit gave me a really weird... Uh, thing there with sneaky snakes so I don't know if you're dealing with anyone in your career or your job that's kind of sneaky kind of like a snake maybe you gotta you have to be aware of somebody around you in your work environment of some kind we'll delve deeper into that with the tarot see what that's about okay so let's pull one card now for your social circle, your family, your friends, whatever your social circle is for you. And the fire signs of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, January 1st through the 15th, 2019. Spare please one card for the fire signs in the area of social, family, groups you belong to, anything like that. Okay, so we have element, we have another earth card, which is number 11. Elephants are usually wise, they're smart, they're family orientated. So let's see, number 11. 
memory, removing obstacles, intelligence. The popular adage that the elephant never forgets is true. In the natural world, these largest of creatures are renowned for their memory, perhaps because their brain mass is greater than other animals and their intense loyalty to their packs. So maybe you have really strong bond with um, some social friends, social circles, groups you belong to. They're like your pack, your tribe. Maybe someone in that group is almost like a wise leader I'm kind of getting to. Uh, everybody looks up to, gives great advice. Uh, let's see. The appearance of the elephant card promises you can remove obstacles using tools you already possess. Knowledge, memories, and personal relationships. You are not as helpless as you think. So this maybe there's somebody, you know, like I said, that you're close to in your social circle, everybody looks up to, gives good advice, is there for you to lean on, to help you, guide you, like a wise... Um, elder almost and maybe not even someone that's elder maybe someone who's just a very wise person who is um very good at giving advice and guiding people in their lives could be a spiritual advisor maybe you belong to a spiritual group or just some group of some kind okay so let's look into the area of love well, the fire signs of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, January 1st through the 15th, 2019. In the area of love, we have one card, please, one card, spare just one card, the area of love for the fire signs, one card. like this one right here okay so now we have some fire we have Phoenix which I think that is number oh Roman numerals let's see um, 34 I think so let's see what the Phoenix has to say that is fire now so we got um, earth and fire so I don't know if you're in a relationship with a fellow fire sign, or this just cause could represent you um, in a relationship. In your work environment, you might have some work and uh, social, some earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And then fire here causes Leo, Sag, and Aries. So let's see what the Phoenix has to say. It. Here it is. Actually, that's number 44. So that's the last card in the deck. Hmm. You got the last card in the deck. Phoenix, rebirth, resurrection, immortality, and hope. The Phoenix card is a reminder never to lose hope. What appears to be gone will return again if we are patient. The phoenix is a universal symbol for resurrection and, and immortality. Um, let's see. Give some history of the phoenix and Chinese philosophy. And I don't really need to read all that. Um, rebirth, being reborn, resurrection, immortality. So... I don't know, maybe you're separated from somebody right now and you're hoping to reunite with them or reignite a current um, partnership of some kind. So we'll see what the tarot has to say as we delve into each thing here. So first we're going to start with your career and finance. Why do we have the snake here for fire signs, some being a sneaky snake, let's see, Ooh. so first card we have that was quick is the nine of cups, this is about happiness, joy, fulfillment, a wish come true, um, 
some of you may be hoping and wishing for something. Maybe you're vying for a promotion and you're in competition with somebody else who's kind of sneaky is what I'm getting. And you think they're kind of, kind of like a snake. But your wish and your dream is to have this opportunity. It's kind of what I'm getting. It kind of would be like a wish come true. Okay. So let's see. What else do we have for the fire signs? In career and finance, please. Any more cards? Any more messages? In work? Career, finance, fire signs, three of pentacles, and this is about career and finance, material things, three, three of pentacles is about working together, working with other people, you know, working hard, crafting your skill, so I think maybe you work well with other people, you work hard, you work hard at what you do, willingness to learn, to grow, to expand, work together. Okay, let's pull a few more cards. Okay, we got three, I'll take three. So now we have the Eight of Pentacles and that's still working hard. That is, um, Really learning your skill, sharpening your skills, uh, working hard. You know, the fruit on the vine is almost ready to pick. It's not quite there. It's still growing. It's crafting your skill, perfecting it, becoming an expert at what you do. And then we have the four of wands, which is about, it's a fire sign. You have two pentacles here already on the table, so maybe you're dealing with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, which is the snake is earth. Or maybe you have earth in your chart, but now you have the four of wands. This is home, moving. Um, maybe you're moving to a new home. Maybe you've just moved into a new home. Um, it's the happy family, happy home celebrations this also can be the marriage card for some sometimes for some people so maybe you're hoping to get this position at work against this other person who's kind of has a sneaky personality to bring more stability to your home you're hoping and you're wishing for it you know, you proved how hard you work. You proved your skills. You work well with other people. You have the Ten of Wands. And this is about burden, uh, being overwhelmed, taking on too much. Tens are ending a cycle. So there's something now with your work career, career where you're feeling overwhelmed and burdened about something. And you need to release some of those burdens and that cycle of just taking on too much. Maybe you're working too much, overworking to try to prove yourself and you're just taking on too much and doing too much. I, I feel like you don't have to do that. I think you've already shown your worth and how hard you can work and you're in the love for what you do, but you're still hoping and wishing for something. Yeah, I was just told to take the top card. I don't usually do that. I usually shuffle till I get flyers. Spirit just said, take the top card. So here we have the Knight of Pentacles. And this is someone taking action. Though the Knights are action, but the Pentacle Knight is very slow. He's the slowest Knight in the deck. Because Pentacles are monetary. They're heavy. So they're slow moving. So I think this is you just really working hard, trying to prove yourself that you are worthy of this maybe promotion of some kind, or maybe it's about a new job, really vying for a whole new career, a whole new job. Either way, but something, um, I don't know, there's something about someone being around you being kind of sneaky. 
with the snake energy here. And we do have three earth cards here. The three, the eight, and the knight of pentacles. So it could be earth sign. And we have two wands, so that is your energy. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So you may be in competition with the earth sign for a promotion of some kind. Or a new job. And you're waiting to hear, hear with the night. You're waiting for that opportunity to come in. And you may be just maybe stressing out about it too much, but you need to release those burdens. Okay. So let's get into... I hope that made sense. I hope that resonated for some people. As you see, like, these snakes all intertwine, like, they're... Or is that one snake? I think that's one snake. That's a big ass snake, so I don't know. I thought it was two. It looks like one, so. Hmm. Okay, so let's look into in your social circle, the elephant here, someone in your tribe, in your circle, someone who's a wise leader, someone everybody goes to, gives good advice could even be a uh, one best friend you have that you go to that you look up to for help and guidance I got three I'll take three so we have the two of Pentacles and this is about juggling ideas around in your head literally juggling things around in your life trying to make things balanced trying to make things even uh, maybe you have a little too much on your plate right now in your life somehow and you're just trying to juggle everything and balance everything out trying to make more time to spend with friends and you're trying to find the spare time here with everything going on to spend time with your friends and your family actually this is the page of pentacles sorry it almost looks exactly like the two of pentacles but the page of pentacles is about a message a message coming in waiting to hear about a message. I feel like this is you going to your friend for advice because the page is about messages, exchange of words, you know, waiting to hear from somebody or about something or, you know, you going, delivering a message. Usually it's someone waiting for a message to come in, but I feel like it's you reaching out to someone for advice. And then we have the Queen of Wands. So, wow, that's you. That is Leo Sag Aries. So, I feel like this is you reaching out to your wise friend here for help and guidance. With the Page of Pentacles. And this friend is Earth. The Pentacles is Earth. And this person is Earth here. So, that's you reaching out to your friend or family member or in your social circle, group, whatever, um, spiritual group somebody you look up to because she's kind of looking at him and looking at each other someone you look up to ace of cups usually it's about a brand new start brand new love it doesn't have to be with a uh, lover it can be with a best friend usually it does have to do with love like a lover or something like that this could be you having renewed self-love Renewed love and your spiritual, you know, spirituality and faith. But I see this is somebody here because it's right under you. Somebody, you really love this person. They're very dear to you. There's a lot of love here for this person that you look up to. Now we have, I was told to take the top card again. I, I never do that, but the Knight of Cups. So yeah, this is you coming in to your friend here with the this is the knight of cups so he's usually coming in with a love offer but i think this is just you you know taking action and coming in and coming to your friend here whenever you need help advice a shoulder to cry on we 
we have water on the table too, so maybe somebody uh, looks up to a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. Or maybe this best friend in your social circle is your partner, is your lover, is your husband, your wife, your spouse. Could be that too. Maybe they are your best friend. And they're very wise, intelligent, caring, giving. Okay, so any more cards for the earth signs? Earth, yeah. Okay, fire signs for their social, family, friends. Any more cards? There's too many, but the top card here wanted to stick. Wow, so now we have the King of Pentacles. Wow, and I had just said this could be your partner. And now we have a king and a queen. They're not the same suit, but they're still a match. They're a king and a queen. This very well could be your partner is your best friend. It doesn't have to be male, female. It can be male, male, female, female. Anything, how the energy resonates for you. If you have the male energy and the, and the other has the female, vice versa. That's how you take it as it resonates. But... And this is Earth again. And I had just said this is your best friend, could be your partner, someone you look up to is an Earth sign. And here we have again an Earth sign. The King of Pentacles, just very stable, grounded, secure. He um, has a lot of stability. He's very grounded. He can be wealthy, abundant. He can own his own business. It's very secure and safe. This very well could be your partner. This just happens to be your best friend. Maybe you also met them uh, in a social group of some kind. Okay, I feel like this one, the Four of Swords. So this talks about being... Uh, like you fought your hard battle and now you're just taking rest, you're recuperating, you're thinking, you're meditating, you're not taking any action, you're healing, you're thinking about things with truth and clarity of the situation. So maybe this person puts your mind at ease when you feel like you're down and out and you've, you know, can't win the battle, it's just a battle. I think this person maybe puts your mind put your mind at ease and you're able to rest and recuperate and relax person has a very calming effect on you uh, healing effect they know how to calm you down they know what to say they know what to do maybe they like to give you flowers red flowers tulips roses I think that's a rose So let's get into the area of love for the fire sign. So, oops. So this may not resonate with everybody, or uh, some may, some may not. You may resonate with this situation, but not the others, vice versa. It may resonate with you may resonate with all of it, or you may only resonate with this section. You know, you take what resonates and you throw away what doesn't. So for under love, now we have the two of pentacles. And that's a partnership. That's two people working together. It can be in business, career, finance. It can also can be in a personal level. Um, on a project or something like that. But it's two people coming together and working together. Building something together. So, and that's earth again. So I'm feeling like this Phoenix energy is you, fire signs, and this person now that you are with is an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You met them in a social environment. They are very wise, smart, intelligent, caring. They give great advice. They know how to calm you. They know what to say and do.
or some of you may be dealing with a water sign for some people. Could be the same situation, but the sign you're dealing with is a water sign because you do have new love here. So some of you may have met a water sign in your social circle. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. As you do have a knight, it's not a king, so it's not really matched to the queen. But, wow. So now we have the Ace of Pentacles. This is a brand new start, a brand new beginning. It could be a new job. It can be a lump of money coming in. It can be... Um, a new secure, stable, grounded beginning that's going to last for a lifetime. It's stable. Sorry if I'm repeating my words. Um, so whatever you used to built here, I see you really, really worked hard to build this partnership into this brand new stable beginning that will last a lifetime. Uh, pentacles last a very long time. It's amazing. This could be a life partner. Definitely getting earth and fire for the majority of you and for a small amount of you, water and fire. If you didn't meet them in a social circle, maybe you met them at work. So now you have the hangman. This can represent cancer or cancer or Pisces. So maybe this is for some of the people that are dealing with a water sign. Maybe there's a little bit of stagnation at one time. Uh, maybe, you know, there was, um, you no, know, maybe you were looking at each other, you liked each other, but nobody said anything for a long time. As a hangman, he doesn't really take any action. He just kind of goes with the flow, takes it as it comes, um, doesn't really take any action, just kind of hangs out. So this falls right in line with the water sign here under your social. So maybe for some of you who met a water sign in your social environment, there was some stagnant, was stagnant for a while, like nobody was coming forward, but somebody did. Because you got the knight coming forward with their cup of love and this brand new beginning in a love relationship. So you're the fire sign. So this water sign eventually approached you with their offer. And then there was a new start in love. I don't see that you met at uh, work. I see it was in a social circle of some kind. Any more cards for the area of love? For, I'm kind of getting separate messages here. So this is for the collective. So I may get, like I said, you know, the career finance may resonate with a third of you. And then the messages here may resonate with the other third and then the other third. So, you know, like I said, take what resonates, throw away what doesn't. If this is for a collective who's ever watching, it is for three signs at once. If you're interested in your uh, soul sign, your single sign reading, I do those on a monthly basis only by what sign is in season. So I just did Capricorn. So the end of the month we'll be going into Aquarius and I'll be doing a monthly reading for Aquarius and then in February uh, into March. I'll be doing one then for that sign, which hmm, I'm trying to think what sign that is now. Uh, March. Oh, Pisces. So at that time I'll be doing Pisces. Okay. So any more? Oh, there we go. Wow. The lovers. Wow. 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 So that speaks of the major arcana, two people coming together. This could be a soulmate relationship. Something that's meant to be, it's divinely guided. 
kind of like Cupid here, sending down his arrow, you know, the divine in intertwined you together. It's divinely guided. So definitely here. And this is Gemini, but that is air. But that doesn't have to be Gemini. because Someone could have Gemini in their chart. But the lovers is two people coming together as one. It also can be about having to make a decision. Unless you, fire sign, had to make a decision at one time between a water sign and Gemini. Or it could just be this water sign is your soulmate. And I feel like also the um, fire and earth signs are probably soulmates too, since you did get the king and the queen, king and queen, not the same suit, but it's still kind of a match. And between them is the ace of cups. Ace of cups is a brand new start in love. It's divinely guided by the hand of God here. Something that's meant to be. So these two are probably soulmates too. So we did have the lovers come out, so that can represent both situations. So any more cards here for my fire signs? We got two here, so I'm gonna take those. Those will be the last ones under love. So we have the fool, and this is about taking a leap of faith, just jumping right in. You don't care of the consequences, you don't care what's gonna happen. You just wanna go for it. It's like I'm not even gonna think about it, I'm just gonna jump right in and I'm I wanna do it, I'm just gonna go for it. It's going to leap and I don't care what happens. I don't care where I land. I don't care where, you know, where I go. So I see that this water sign took a leap of faith to you. That was involved with a water sign after being stagnant for a while. And maybe the fire sign with the earth sign took a leap of faith by coming forward to the earth sign and then you have the five of swords so this talks about ego being mentally uh, in your mind it's like self-sabotage trying to get ahead at all costs you don't care who you hurt So I think since these fell out together, it's like you're taking a leap of faith and with the Five of Swords, I feel like um, you just didn't care about your ego. You're just going to jump right in anyway. Or maybe you just had a little bit of ego, like, yeah, I'm just going to jump in, maybe being a little uh, egotistical about it. Thinking, you know, it's going to be fine. And it was. I feel like the Five of Swords doesn't really fit in here, but I feel it's, feel it's more of maybe some, the situation here, some being a little stuck in their mind and their ego before they decide to take this leap of faith. They're like, they weren't unsure, you know, about it, but finally decided to jump right in. It could have been the spire sign, you, with the earth sign being unsure whether or not to jump in. And then this water sign coming on to the fire sign finally decided to set aside their ego and jump right in. I hope that makes sense. Under the tarot, let's see, the extra message. Wow, we have the queen of pentacles. So now we do have a match with the king and the queen right here. This is a match. So you are in your work environment. Now we have the queen. So maybe now you did get that promotion. You did get that job. You did get um, even a raise or something. Now you're sitting in your throne. You proved yourself. You beat out the sneaky snake that you were like stressing about and having burdens about. Now you are this queen of pentacles, and now we have a more stable, secure home environment. 
you know you do work hard with the knight here working hard working together you love it stable secure home burden but you release those burdens because the tens about completion so you release that burden you worked hard for it and now you have your pentacle and you have what you wanted your wish your dream come true and then for your social circle we have a match now with the king and queen so this person you looked up to in your social circle I see a match here definitely soulmates I think you met your soulmate in your social circle maybe uh, from through another friend through a group for some of you and then over here in your love I think you feel you feel very stable secure now abundant safe you can take care of yourself you have your pentacle you have your crown you have your throne you don't have to worry anymore because you are with your soulmate your best friend your lover and you have this brand new beginning this brand new start here's the pentacle here here's the pentacle here and here's the two pentacles working together. In the bottom of the deck of the Sacred World Oracle, we have Dragonfly, which is number 27. And this is water. Is that water or earth? No, that's earth, I think. So... No, that's not Earth. I'm sorry. It's either ear or I think it's ear. So 27 is ear. Okay. Dragonfly. Unexpected guidance. We were talking about this this uh, wise person that gives you words of advice. Guidance. Wow. Surprising grace. Transcendence. The dragonfly card serves as a symbol of unexpected grace found in difficult places here in your work environment against a sneaky snake these flying insects often congregate in swampy marshes where they eat mosquitoes and other stinging insects um, it is a harmless it looks harmful but it's harmless you transcend it into this queen of pentacles this person or you could be a male fire sign with a earth sign or you could be with um, female female male male however it resonates for you you found your grace you found this new job you found your grace you're sitting in your throne you found your perfect partner through unexpected guidance which brought you this secure, stable, abundant beginning, new beginning in life, love. Okay, fire signs. I hope that resonated. That's your reading from the 1st to the 15th. If you like how I read, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, comment. I love to hear comments. Just be, please be polite. Um, thank you for watching. Happy New Year. Be safe light love and blessings and don't forget to shine your light